ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वील बी स्टार्टिंग विद द एक्सेल टूडे वील बी जस्ट कवरिंग बेसिक ऑफ एक्सेल फर्स्टली आई विल बी इंट्रोड्यूसिंग यू टू द इंटरफेस ऑफ एक्सेल हाउ एक्सेल लुक्स लाइक वॉट आर द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एरियाज इन एक्सेल विच यू विल वर्क विद कमिंग इन कमिंग फ्यूचर राइट सो मेकिंग यू अ कस्टम विद द इंटायर एक्सेल इंटरफेस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे एंड देन आफ्टर दैट आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अ फ्यू कॉमन यूजेज ऑफ एक्सेल वाई एक्सेल इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट वाई आफ्टर यू नो नाउ डेज वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ न्यू प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस विथ अस राइट बट स्टिल वी सी दैट एक्सेल इज वन थिंग विच स्टिल डोमिनेट्स uh the world of analytics so why excel is important in such a way and also then we'll be learning a few features in excel which is important and basic uh, features today and then later on we'll be starting with the basic functions and so on right so let me first introduce the excel interface to you all i'll be using office 365 ms office 365 if you have some other version of excel you can use that make sure uh, you try to have you try to get hold of a new latest versions uh, maybe 2016 or above 2013 or above see because there are there are some changes which has happened in excel over the years right so if you are using a very older version of 2010 or maybe a version before that uh, i will not suggest you all to use those because the functionalities have also changed there are a few functions which have also changed in the latest versions so i'll be suggesting that if you are having 2013 or above versions it finds if, if you are using the latest ones 2020 or 2019 or 2016 in fact then it's a great thing right or you can use office 365 which i'll be using right uh, so let me just uh, quickly open excel file for you all so you will just have to type excel and you will open the excel app this is how this is how a blank excel workbook this is known as an excel workbook or we also call it as a spreadsheet how it actually looks like okay so this is the name given to this particular excel file which we can obviously change later on you can keep give it any name you want so this is uh, the name of the excel which is given to us then we have over here few important areas or sections in our excel interface which we have to you know understand if you are using excel you should also know that what are the places what are the what are these different things known as right so this is known as quick access toolbar this portion which you see is known as quick access toolbar now what you might see on your excel might be different from what you will see on my screen because on my screen i have some different uh, uh, i have added some different features on my quick access toolbar which not be shown in yours you might be having something totally different so it depends on usage now what is quick access toolbar quick access toolbar is a place where you can add basic features or basic functionalities which you use a lot on a daily basis so what you can do you don't have to you know go to any particular tab or section to view that particular to use that particular feature you can just simply uh, access it from here from the quick access toolbar and you can simply use those features from here right so this is known as now how to customize this so basically you can see we have undo redo options over here you can just click on this arrow button customize quick access toolbar you can click on this arrow button and simply select whatever options you want to customize it so suppose i want to click on open what this open means it will open a new excel workbook or an existing excel workbook which you want to open which is saved in your pc right we have say we have option of emailing we have option of uh, sorting and filtering all these things you can just simply add any functionality you want to on your quick access toolbar right the next thing which we have over here which is very important is the ribbon this is this entire thing which you see over here is known as a ribbon now in a ribbon we have seven major tabs now the tabs which you see on my screen will be a little different than the uh, tabs which you are seeing on your screen again why because i have maybe added a few extra tabs which i might be using but you uh, if you have opened your excel file for the first time you will have the you will have the main seven tabs which are there now what are these seven major tabs which we generally use which is the home tab 
right this is the home tab this is the insert tab so within the home tab just give me one second okay so here we have the home tab in the home tab we have different features now what are the different features which we see over here we have the font section now what is the font section here if we are inputting anything within the cells so it's basically formatting basic formatting of your cells of your workbook so you can do all those formatting inserting delete new rows new columns all these things can be performed in from this home tab all the options are there within this home tab so basically the seven major tabs which we have which is the home tab insert tab page layout tab formulas tab data tab review and view tab so these are the seven major tabs you might not see a developer tab on your screen this is a tab which i have added because i have been using vba or something macros and everything so i have developer tab on my screen you might not see this on your screen then we have the file and the help options also with us uh, available but the seven major tabs are these tabs that we talk about so in the home section in the home tab we have all the formatting basic formatting of our spreadsheet right then we have the insert tab to so here you can uh, insert all the charts different um different tables if you want different pictures from any other places if you want to insert pivot tables uh, text box um then many more like symbols everything whatever you want to insert additional object what you want to insert in your uh, excel file you can use the insert tab right then we have the page layout tab so this is as the name suggests is ba it's basically uh, creating a layout for your entire tab so i'll just quickly show you all suppose these are the grid lines right these are the grid lines which you are seeing if you just click on this view button over here if you just untick this button the grid lines are gone right the grid lines are gone so if you just click on these headings so what are these headings these are basically the column headings which you see here a b c d and the row headings 1 2 3 4 i'll just click on this view and so the row and the column headings are gone right so it is basically to change the layout of your spreadsheet how you want your spreadsheet to look like so that is all about in the page if you want to add certain margins if you want to you know uh, want to add a background to your spreadsheet so you can do that using this page layout tab the next section that we have over here is the formulas tab so in the formulas tab we have all the formulas which you, which are there in excel is present in your formulas tab all the different logical functions financial functions trigonometric functions date time text logical uh, financial all these functions are there here um and you can simply use these functions now we have name manager which we'll be discussing later on and all these things are there in the formulas tab right then we have the data tab one of a very important tabs very uh, you know you will be using this data tab a lot more than the formulas tab because formulas tab we actually remember all the functions and formulas so we don't generally use the formulas tab a lot we will be using the data tab the home tab these are the two major tabs which i feel uh, we use on a daily basis a lot right so in the data tab we have what if analysis like goal seek scenario manager all these different things are there uh, how to get data from web or importing data from different places you can just you know import data from maybe uh, r programming or maybe from a text file or maybe from internet you can just simply import your data from here right then we have sorting filtering all the things uh, we have different tools like uh, removing the duplicates so all the tools all the features which involves transforming changing your data is included within the data section right then we have the review tab so review tab is basically again something which we don't use on a daily basis so you might see protect sheet protect workbook now what are these things these are basically uh, to protect to password protect your spreadsheet now when we talk about password protecting excel files um, excel files are not full proof protected because uh, if even if it's protected there are many uh, ways in which you can actually you know unprotected so there is some not anything called as protecting actually protecting your workbook or uh, protecting your sheet because it definitely can be uh, broken the 
password protection is not very great in Excel, right? So that is there. Then we have notes, comments, which we'll be talking on, uh, talking about later on. And lastly, we have the view tab. So view tab is again something similar to page layout tab but here it's basically how you want to view your screen do you want to have again the grid lines the formula bar the headings so what is the formula bar we'll be coming about uh, coming to that particular section uh, how do you want to you know split your screen all these things are there on your view tab so these are the seven major tab which we talk about which we use on a daily basis right the next thing and this is known as ribbon Correct. So next thing which we'll be discussing on the screen, which you see is your name box. This thing over here where you'll see A1 written, this is your name box. So what is a name box? A name box is basically the name of the cell. This shows the name of the cell which you are into. So we'll come to that later on. What is the name of a cell? Then here we have the formula bar. This is the formula bar we are talking about. This small this rectangular line over here now what's a formula by whatever you have written in your cell whatever function or whatever input you have done that thing is visible over here in the fun formula bar all right so we'll be using this formula bar again a lot the next thing which you see is obviously the headings the column headings so these are known as the columns these are known as the columns and these are known as the rows Right. So here the columns in Excel is named as uh, using alphabets A, B, C, D. And once you will see uh, Z coming in after that, we have A, 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 B, A, C and so on. OK, so we have N number of columns in an Excel spreadsheet, in an Excel file, in an Excel sheet. Then we have N number of rows in an Excel. So we we'll just uh, see how many rows do we have. We have one, zero, four, eight, five, seven, six number of rows in an Excel. Excel file and how many columns we have till XFD. So these many rows and these many columns in one Excel sheet and all these small cells which you are seeing are known uh, which is an intersection of a column and a row. This is known as a cell and these are known as the grid lines. So you can use all of these single cells to input whatever you want to. So you can now understand in one particular Excel sheet how much data you can store. The quantity of data which you can store in one Excel sheet is really huge, right? This is one Excel sheet that we are talking about. As you can see here, sheet one. This is one Excel sheet. We can add n number of sheets over here. You just have to click on this plus button and you can create n number of sheets. You can create n number of sheets over here. So in one sheet, if we can insert so many data, then you can understand in one Excel spreadsheet, in one Excel workbook, how many data you can actually, how much data you can actually store. So the amount of data is actually huge, which you can store in an Excel file. All right. So this is the sheet names, which is given to us over here, right? Uh, sheet tabs, you can call it tabs. You will, uh, you can call it worksheet or simply sheet, right? Then we have the scroll bar over here. This is known as the scroll bar. So uh, basically this is to just to scroll, right? And I think you might not be able to see this portion on the very bottom right. You all can just open your Excel files to see that. This is the zoom slider. You might see 100% written on it, plus minus signs written on that, right? That is known as a zoom slider. You can just, you know, click on that plus sign and you can see how you can zoom into your Excel file and how you can zoom out your Excel file. So you will see your zoom slider on the bottom right of your Excel file, right? And here, somewhere over here, this is known as the status bar. Just see my cursor on the bottom of the Excel sheet. This is known as the status bar. We'll be talking about the status bar later on as we move ahead. Right. So this is the basic entire uh, interface of how Excel looks like. Uh, some things which might be different from you and me is that you might not see something called as autosave. Uh, all of you might not see because I have or three, six, Office 365. So some of the features, some just very small, small features are different. Other than that, all other things will be same. All right. Okay. So this was about the interface of Excel. Now, what is actually Excel? Why do we want to use Excel? Why Excel is so famous? So you, uh, 
like thousands of years back uh excel was uh, was a computer excel is now a computerized version of what accountants actuaries or be it small businesses they used those big big sheets wherein they used to input their data their everyday transactions right you will see those uh uh spread uh, sheets where we have these cells that is just in the form of excel now right so i believe excel is one thing which has actually transformed many companies and how uh, microsoft actually transformed by introducing this excel to us so uh, excel uh, we it's a computerized version i have shown you all through the important areas of the screen i, I will share the ppt with you all later on now what are the basic uses of excel firstly excel can be used as a calculator simple you can perform any mathematical calculation addition subtraction multiplication division anything which you perform on your calculator can be very easily done on your excel file right and then again the next which is very very important thing is to analyze and store a data obviously we use excel to store data firstly and secondly to analyze the data to get good interpretations out of it to make Make decisions out of the data, so that you can do very easily. We have nowadays a lot, lots of tools available in market, but still, Excel remains the main place where any person who actually deals in analytics wants to try to import the data set and wants to first understand the basic idea behind the data using Excel, right? So, analytics in Excel is very very simple in that manner. Then. Um, we can also add lots of sophi uh, sophistication to our data set by introducing pivot tables uh creating some amazing charts like waterfall charts and we have different charts which are used generally um by the people who are into financial modeling people who are into uh, investment banking they use lots of these park lines and uh, different charts to you know understand different uh, stock market data then uh, obviously it keeps the data in one particular location uh then when we are talking about data and when we are talking about an analyzing i'll give you a example a very small example suppose we have three different projects in which we want to invest in now how do we decide that which project is a better one so we have different measurements like npv we have irr we have uh, payback period calculation so all these different calculations which we have we can simply carry out those you don't have to use pen and paper for that you can simply carry out those on excel which can be done in just a few minutes and you can understand on the basis of these measurements which project we should move ahead with then we have something called as a loan schedule so when we are taking a loan you want to see the entire uh, cash flow structure each month how much emi i'll be paying what will be the interest of each month what, what will be the capital repayment each month so you, that if you're sitting down and creating on a on a pen and paper suppose for coming 20 years so now you need 20 years and 12 months 20 into 12 240 rows you have to you know just sit and right so in excel you can just do it maybe if you ask me to do a loan schedule i can just do it in 10 minutes and you will get your entire uh, cash flow as to how your things are working out and you can easily visualize that where your actually cash flows will end well your capital repayment will exceed the interest payment all these small small things right so it is used by small businesses to large mnc's like google they are also obviously using excel so all these places we see excel it is also used to uh, to manage personal revenues personal expenses so people who are into lots of shopping and you know they are spending too much more than they earn so i think they should manage excel they can simply even i used to do that but now i have started managing excel i write my daily expenses i just simply you can just you know open on your phone also nowadays you have this something called as excel web you have google sheets so you can simply note down what are the expenses you are doing otherwise you end up you know spending too much if you don't have that if you are writing it down on pen and paper i think it's better you can write it down on your excel file in your phone as well so i think it's very very, very nice to have a uh, personal expenses personal revenue stored in one place in an excel file where you can also compare different months in which month i spent the most what is the place i have spent the most so that is also known as scenario manager that we can talk about later on so this is the basic uh, you know use of excel in personal life in uh, different businesses as well right the next thing which uh, we'll be moving to is i will 
today just you know keep it very simple i will just show you all basic features so that you all get very much interested into this excel journey and uh, trust me uh, excel is something which you have started right now and if you have already been using it so far it is something which you will continue for your life right even if you have learnt lots of different tools somewhere or the other you will end up opening excel file maybe even for a small calculation for a graph or something you will end up uh, opening your excel file somewhere or the other in your daily life right okay so firstly how to uh, and also in every class i'll be giving you a few shortcuts which, which you can jot it down somewhere not more than 2 to 3 or 4 to 5 shortcuts so that also you will try to use these shortcuts daily it will not only uh, Up, uh, it will actually, you know, uh, you will be more efficient then if you are using these shortcuts because it is very important in Excel that we use these different important shortcuts. There are n number of shortcuts which even I don't remember. No one remember. I don't know anyone who remembers all the shortcuts. But the more you are into the use of habit of using uh, shortcuts, the more efficient you become. Right. So firstly, let us. Uh, understand the shortcut of the very first thing is how to open a new excel workbook so you can use the shortcut control n and see we have a new excel workbook we have book 2 written over here so we have two excel spreadsheets now just simply control n and you can open a new excel file this was the shortcut if you want to just open without using the shortcut click on this file option over here and click on this new when I am teaching you a shortcut, make sure you are writing it down. Secondly, you are also using it. Right? Control N is for opening a new Excel workbook. The next thing, suppose I am just uh, <clears throat> writing over here. So, uh, in a cell, which is an intersection of a column and a, a row, what do we see over here? The name of the cell and how it's written A1. So the column name comes first and the row number comes later. So if we are in this particular push, uh, in this particular cell, it's E2. If we are in this cell, it's M8. You can also select multiple cells together. Now what do we see? Just E2. So it basically, I have selected all these cells together, but still we see just E2, which is the first cell of this entire selection. Right? That is how the name box works this is known as the name box which gives us the name of a particular cell right now let me just write over here introduction to excel so i have written introduction to excel in cell a1 what do we see in the formula bar introduction to excel whatever you write in a cell you will see that in your formula bar or the formula tab right now here what do you see is just what I have written a simple text this is a simple text you can also write a number okay let me just write 100 so what we see and also let me just write a very small word excel what do you see this is a text or a string this is a number a number in excel is by default right aligned if anything you see that is right aligned consider it to be a number and anything which you see left aligned consider it to be a text or a string right so for example for example i am writing 100 um, and then just add the rate this will be considered this will be considered as a string or a text it's a left aligned because i have used a symbol right so that is how excel demarcates between a number and a text number always right aligned a text always left aligned right okay so uh, and also this is just a simple number and text that we have inputted we can also input the um, functions i'll be coming to that later on how do we input a function we have to use a equal to sign to make excel understand the after this equal to sign whatever we are going to input is nothing but a simple function so we'll come to that later on all right so this is what i have done i've written introduction to excel now i want to save this file now when you are saving your excel file for the first time it is known as save as 
okay when you are saving it for the first time so when you there are two ways of again doing it the shortcut for that is control s so when i click on control s it will ask me where do you want to save this file because this is the first time i'm saving my excel file right so i will give the name of the file whatever i want so i will i will just give maybe excel excel class 1 and i'm maybe saving it in uh maybe excel basics folder and i'll just click on save the moment i do that the moment i do that my excel file is saved on particular place wherever i wanted to along with the name and you can see the name of the excel file has already changed to excel class 1 correct right so this is how you save it now suppose so this was save as When you are saving your Excel file for the first time, it is known as save as. You can also so the shortcut was Control S. If you want to save it for the first time without using the shortcut, what we'll do is click on File, and here we have Save As. The moment you click on Save As, we have the option over here what name you want to give to your spreadsheet, and where do you want to save it. So you can just click on this uh, new folder, click on this More Options, and you will get the place wherever you want to save it. Correct. right right okay now the next thing is suppose i am changing something in my existing this has now become my existing workbook so i'll just close it down how to open an existing workbook how to open an existing workbook so again you can just click on file click on this open button which you see over here and you can navigate and you can navigate through where you want to actually open your excel frame file from so you can click on this browse and you can select wherever you want you have saved your existing file and from that that place you can open your existing file so i want to open excel class 1 i will just open this new file so the new excel the file which was already stored is now open click on click on file open right or the shortcut for that is control o control plus o is the shortcut for opening a existing spreadsheet clear now let me just make a small change in my existing spreadsheet i will just write my name over here i will just write my name over here in my existing this was my exi existing spreadsheet i have stored it somewhere now again when you close it If I close it, just simply this close button, it will ask me, "Do you want to save your changes?" I will say, "Yes, save." Or, if you want to keep on saving your work, you can click on again Control S. Now, when I am clicking Control S again, it will not show me that Save As bar because I've already saved it in a place. And this is the second time I am saving my, I am updating my file. Right? This is the new file which I am updating. Clear, clear, right? great so this was all about the basic things over here now let's talk about how we can change the name so this name is very boring k8 is very boring i want to change the name of the cells you can easily change the name of the cells right so suppose i have shivangi written over here i want to change the name of the cell this is h3 i don't want h3 i want the cell to be renamed as name just name how do we do that there are two three ways of doing it firstly what you can do is double click on this just simply click on this double click on this h3 the name box the moment it gets selected right type down whatever name you want to so i am giving it i am just writing name over here and click on enter enter the moment you click enter you can see the name has changed so here if you again go to h3 the name has changed and we have name this is renaming of a cell renaming of a cell also what was another way of doing it in the formulas section in the formulas tab we have something called as define name we have something called as define name you can just click on this you can just click on this and what do we see name is basically whatever the input whatever input over here do you whatever input you see over here scope this is a sheet 1 this is sheet 1 cell h3 right 
So we have this again renamed, we have actually renamed it. So no point in defining a name, but you can actually do it from here. Or you can click on, or you can click on name manager in the formulas tab and you can get all the different names which you have. So I'll just show you all, wait. Let me just delete this. Let me just delete this. Uh, name, I will rename this as, I'm renaming the cell as, or just keep it over here. I am renaming this cell as title. Okay. I will double click over here. I will type title and click on enter. Other way of doing it is go to this define name option. Click on this define name. And whatever name you want to give, suppose I want to give the name as title. I want to give this cell the name title. This cell refers to sheet one cell h4 right and the name given is title click on ok the moment you do that see what do we see over here title so two ways double click or you can use formulas define tab define name another way which i'll show you is the most common way or which you will be using moving ahead let me give my i'll not give my age so i can give my favorite color which is valid okay so i'll i'll be uh, guiding you all firstly let me delete these names okay let me just delete or uh, let me just forget it so i have violet written over here i want to rename this cell as color we have learned two ways of doing it what is the third way which is the most commonly used way which i use a lot suppose i want to rename the cell as color whatever name you want to give or maybe my fave color right so i've just written over here favorite color fave color and i want to rename this cell as fave color right um what i will do i will select these two cells together i will select these two cells together use the shortcut control shift f3 control very important shortcut moving ahead we'll be using this a lot very very important shortcut control shift f3 and it says create names from values in the left column i'll be selecting this as right column because i want to rename this violet as fave color so we want to select the names in the right column this is the right column of the selection in the selection this is the right column this is the left column i'll click on ok now see what has happened. This has been renamed as fave color. Right? This has been renamed as fave color. Control shift F3. If you're not able to use control shift F3, use the function key control shift Fn F3. In some of the laptops, we also require the use of function Fn. So control shift Fn F3 or simply control shift F3. Now I want to see in my entire workbook what are the different cells which have been renamed. For that, you can use Control F3, Control F3, Control F3, which is Name Manager, what we saw in Formulas and Name Manager over here. Control F3, Control F3, Formula, Name Manager, or simply Control F3. We see all the different names which I have given to my spreadsheet. So we have fave color. Just one second. We have fave color and the value is violet and the value is violet. This refers to cell H5 in sheet one. We have name and the value it contains is Shivangi. Cell is H3. We have title Agarwal H4. Right? Yes. What is? Scope in this? What is? Scope is basically this particular workbook. If you have more than, you know, uh, generally we link two workbooks if possible, or we have two different workbooks, then it shows where exactly your this particular thing belongs to. So this belongs to this particular workbook only, right? Scope is basically worksheet, workbook or different workbooks together. What is worksheet? This is one particular worksheet. We have multiple worksheets. There is only one workbook over, over here. So that is what scope refers to. 
okay we don't have any comments we'll talk about comments later on right so this is just renaming the cell you can also rename your sheets so just simply double click your sheet name gets selected and we are giving this as maybe first class okay or maybe class 1 class 1 this is the name which i have given to my sheet that is how simply you rename your sheet right you can also move and copy this entire spreadsheet for example i'll show you all uh i want to just simply move and copy this one second i just want to move and copy this entire sheet same sheet i want just the duplicate of the sheet right click on the sheet right click on the sheet tab move or copy there is a option of move and copy click on move or copy you want to copy the sheet and where do you want to pay, where do you want to create a new sheet maybe move at the end or you want to put it before sheet 2 before sheet 3 whatever or maybe move it to the end wherever you want to and then click on this create a copy if you don't click on this create a copy it will not create a copy it will simply move the sheet to that place it will simply move class 1 to the end right if you tick on this create a copy option it will create a duplicate of class 1 sheet click on okay click on okay the moment you click on okay you will see a new sheet has been created class 2 in bracket you see 2 in bracket you see 2 this is basically that we have created a new sheet we can again rename this sheet if you want right click move or copy select the place wherever you want to move your sheet to click on create a copy tick this and okay yes tell me hmm 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 okay i will explain that so basically whenever so basically whenever you are renaming a cell what is the use of renaming a cell it is not for fun we actually use this the value is not changing value is still violet value is still agarwal value is still shivangi if i now just get up and change my name from shivangi agarwal to something different that does not mean what i am my identity my knowledge my values will not change it will remain the same just my name has changed right so similarly your values will remain same everything remains the same the functions remain the same just the name of the cell has changed right if i am changing the name from something to something does not mean the things inside it will change right so the name why do we rename it we'll come to that later on when we'll be talking about cell referencing not today maybe tomorrow uh, in the next class okay so nothing changes i have shown you all different ways now again write down the shortcut for move and copy a sheet alt alt e m alt e m and you have this move or copy option again why important shortcut because we this is something which we do a lot again you'll have to cre uh, click on this create a copy and you, you can just move your sheet wherever you want to alt e m i'll just write it down over here alt e m alt e m now let us first understand how do how we can simply you know make our spreadsheet very attractive using different colors different fonts we gen alt e m m generally we do not uh, change the a uh, font um name or size i keep it calibri 11 if you want you can change it from here if you want to do it for one single cell if you want to do it for one single cell you can just simply select and whatever you know font you want to change it to if you want to you know 
increase the font size, keep it in bold, italics, underline, all these options are over here. All these options are over here. If you want to do it for the entire spreadsheet, for the entire worksheet, sorry, click on this button which you see over here on the left mode, left button, uh, left on the top left side. Click on this and the entire spreadsheet gets, entire worksheet gets selected. And now whatever <coughs> you want to do, you can just simply <coughs> change your font from here, maybe Times New Roman. So see, your entire fonts have been changed for the entire sheet. Select your sheet from here. You can select your sheet from here. Right? Right? Now, next thing which we'll be learning is simply copy pasting. Okay. So I want to copy paste this particular sales value to somewhere else. Maybe to here or maybe in some other sheet, whatever. I'll move to the cell. The shortcut for copy is control C, control C, or you can just right click and you can click on copy. Generally, we don't do this. We use the shortcut control C. I want to paste this somewhere else. Maybe I want to paste it over here. The shortcut which we'll be using is control V. Or you can simply right click and click on paste. Control V. What do you see in an Excel file is when you copy paste a cell to somewhere else, entire thing, the entire value gets copy pasted. So we have violet over here, bold, underline, italics, times new Roman 12. Everything has been copy pasted along with the format. So even the formatting, even the values, everything has been copy pasted, right? Correct, 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 right? So for example, for example, and uh, the, obviously the cell name is not copy pasted. That will remain with this cell only. That was just for this cell. The cell name will not change. The cell name is M4, right? Now, for example, now, for example, I just want to maybe we have read over here. I just want to copy paste the formatting. I want to keep this as bold, italics, underline. So I just want to copy paste the and see the font size is 12. This is the font size. So I want to copy paste just the bold, italics, all the formatting options over here. I don't want to copy paste the entire value, right? What is the shortcut for that? We use something called as paste special, paste special. We just want to paste the formatting. There are now different ways of doing it. The best way of, perform of pasting just the format is the use of format painter. In the home tab, we have something, this brush which you see is just a format painter. So from wherever you want to pick up the format, just keep your cursor on that cell. Click on this format painter. So now this has been selected, this format painter in the home tab. And what do we see? The cursor has changed. See the cursor, the cursor has changed to a brush. The cursor has changed to a brush. I will paste it over here. I will just click on, I will just click this red. The moment you click, the brush is gone and the formatting has been pasted. This is known as format painter. Okay. The other way of doing it, the other way of doing it, format painter is basically just for copy pasting the format. Just the format, nothing else. Very again, something which I common, I use it because I love formatting my sheets, so I use it a lot. Now the next thing is um, keeping the, um, again, paste special. So what is the shortcut for paste special? We'll be now moving to paste special. <clears throat> So before moving to the shortcut, there is something which you should know. Just click on Alt. Just press Alt. Just press Alt. The moment you press Alt, what do we see? We have this F, H, N, right? So basically, Excel allows us to move in steps. If you want to move through shortcuts, once you click Alt, if you click on H, just click on H. So basically, I've selected the home tab, right? 
Now I want to select paste special or maybe again the format painter. You will click on FP. See FP, we have FP written over here. FP. Click on FP. Click on FP. The moment you click on FP, format painter has been selected. Format painter has been selected. That is how you create your own shortcut. Not your own shortcut, but you can follow the shortcut route. And it will take some time. Uh, then um, you will memorize the shortcuts which you commonly use, right? So again, Alt. And suppose I want to move to the formulas tab, M. So, suppose I want to open the name manager. So now what next? I should click on N, name manager. Alt M N. Another shortcut for name manager was Control F3, right? So <clears throat> I just want to show you all paste special. Sometimes you want to paste just the formatting. Sometimes you want to paste just the value. So suppose I want to copy paste just the value violet. I don't want to get this different formatting options. I just want to paste violet over here, which is just the value. So I want to paste special just the value, right? Firstly, obviously I'll have to copy the cell, right? Let me take my cursor over here. Simply you can use the left arrow, right arrow, top arrow, bottom arrow to scroll, up arrow, down arrow. So um, Alt, H, Home tab and we have this paste option over here. Click on V. The moment you click on V, the moment you click on V, we have different options of pasting. See, we can paste the values. We can just paste the values over here. This paste is simply copy pasting. Control V, everything will be copy pasted. Your formatting, your numbers, your values. This is just the formula. So only the formula will be copy pasted. Here we don't have any formula. So let's not just skip it. Then we have values. So just the values will be copy pasted, right? If you want different options of copy pasting, you can use this, you can open this, um, what do we call a uh, window using, just you can click on S. When you click on S, this paste special window opens up. This paste special window opens up. And we want to paste just the value. So I will select just the value. Just the value and click on OK. See, we have just the value. So home tab, paste special value. Okay, and we have just the value. What is the shortcut for opening the paste special window? Another shortcut is Control Alt V. Control Alt V. Sorry, I haven't selected this. Control Alt V. Firstly, obviously, you'll have to copy something, then only you can paste, right? So just click on Control C over here. Control Alt V, write this down. Control Alt V is for opening paste special window. Control Alt V. <coughs> Control Alt V. And we can simply copy paste the values. Simply copy paste the values, right? Whatever shortcuts I've taught you all today is very important. <clears throat> Moving ahead, we'll be using these shortcuts a lot. Control, Alt, V. Right? Okay. So the next thing which we'll be learning is how to... So this is the basic formatting which we have learned. Right? Moving ahead, we'll be learning more of such formatting options. Now I want to suppose uh, freeze the first row so that when I scroll down, when I scroll down, I have my first row intact. I have my first row intact. Now, how do we do that? We have to freeze this entire row. We have to freeze this entire row so that we scroll down. The first row is still there. So we move to the view tab. We move to the view tab. Here we select freeze panes. Freeze panes. And we have an option of freeze panes. Freeze top row, freeze first column. I want to freeze my top row. 
I will click on freeze top row and see your line is there. Now if you scroll down your first row remains intact. View freeze panes. If you want to unfreeze it just click on freeze panes and unfreeze. If you want to use a shortcut alt for view don't write the shortcut don't write don't write the shortcut for view we have w right and then for freeze panes I'll click on f right? and if you want to again freeze the top row I want to click on I, I'll click on r if you click on c column so now we have the first column Again, if you want to unfreeze it, Alt, W, F, F, unfreeze. Okay. Basic. Now, do you can we freeze the row and the column together? Yes, we can do that. So, so for example, I want to freeze the first, um, maybe the first row and the first column together. So, I will keep my cursor here. I want to freeze the row on top of this and the column on left of this right 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 so again I'll just click on freeze panes see right That is how you can freeze your pins. Okay. Uh, next thing for today. Next thing for today that we'll be doing. Just two more things. Small, small, small things that we'll do today. Is this value which you see. Introduction to Excel. Right. Now this thing is written only in one cell. Which is cell A1. But just because the value is so huge. So it's going into the other cells which we have. So now how can you adjust your columns. You have to take your cursor over here. Just simply double click. Take your cursor here on the edge of the column and just when your cursor changes, you can just simply double click. Your column will be automatically adjusted as per the requirement. Right? Similarly, I'll just double click over here and my this column has been adjusted. Or you can simply just take your cursor here and you can drag however you want to. Simply you can drag your rows as well. Right? If I want to add new rows, new columns, can we do that? Yes, definitely you can do that. I want to add a new column here between H and I. Between H and I or maybe between... Okay, between H and I, I want to add a new column. So, you want to add a column between H and I. Select the entire column. How to select an entire column? Can you see my cursor? It has changed. Single click, entire column is selected. Right click, insert. A new column is inserted. If you want to insert two columns, Select two columns, right click, insert and we have two columns in between. If you want to select insert three columns, you'll have to select three columns and then insert. If you want to undo any task which you perform, what is the shortcut? Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Okay. Similarly, you can insert rows. Similarly, you can just right click and insert rows. Okay, you can also go to the home tab and there is an option of insert and delete. Simply, if you want to delete this row, select the entire row, click on delete. The entire row gets deleted. Alright, okay. Next thing, next thing is, um, suppose I have written introduction to Excel over here. I want to just not increase the size of the column. The width of the column I want to keep the width of the column same but I want this entire text in one cell itself I want this entire text in one cell itself so what do I do 
what do I do? I click on I click on home tab. In the home tab, we have something called wrap text. Click on wrap text and see my width of the column will not change. Width of the column will not change, but the entire thing is now fitted in one particular cell itself, which is cell A1. Right? This is wrap text. Generally, we use again wrap text a lot when we are creating multiple tables and everything. The next option, what we could have done, the next thing which I want to do is basically, I want to merge these three cells together cell A1, B1 and C1 and in all these three cells I want introduction to Excel. So out of these three cells I want just one single cell. So what do we do? We select these three cells together and again in the home tab we have this option of merge and center. Click on this merge and center and see now when you are selecting this all the three cells are selected. So now A1, B1, C1 is one single cell named as a1. All these three cells are now named as A1 only. This is merge and center. So these are the few basic things just to just you know recap the entire thing what all we did today. So I have given the basic interface introduction then use, users of Excel. Shortcuts that we learned today is control N, control S, control O to open an existing file. We have control shift F3 for renaming, control F3 for just the name manager, right? Alt E M for move and copy a sheet, right? And then control Alt V for paste special. These were the important shortcuts. Other shortcuts, if you can just simply click on Alt and you can simply move through different tabs and everything, right? So today we'll do it till here. Basic features. In the next class, we'll be starting with the basic functions. How we'll, we'll construct our first function and we'll learn more about it. And we'll also talk about what is the importance of renaming a cell. Right? Okay. Any doubts? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. If you have any doubts, you all can ask. Simply unmute yourself. Okay. Thank you.